we've got a big announcement on the channel. You might have missed the announcement we made on Facebook and our YouTube Live a couple weeks ago, but I'm gonna step up the ante. We're gonna take the company from zero to $3 million in two years, and we're gonna bring you along for the entire ride. If you're in contracting, or you're thinking about getting in contracting, or you're a small contractor that wants to scale your business, this is gonna be the channel to follow. We're gonna take you from startup all the way to $3 million, using only my money, no outside investor money, no huge piles of cash that we have. We're gonna start with as little money as possible and bring you along. But first, I need to tell you the story of how we got here. For about 10 years now, I've wanted to leave Wyoming. I've just gotten to the point where I'm tired of the snow, I'm tired of the cold, I'm tired of not being able to work a lot of the year, and seasonal affective disorder is real and it causes me lots of problems. And so, for the last couple of years, I've traveled a lot during the winter. I've made myself scarce in Wyoming. And I've tried to talk my wife into leaving Wyoming. She was never interested. Flash forward to February of this year, 2021, and we made an agreement. She said, you know what? I'll let you buy a vacation house that we can own and we'll use it as an income property. We can visit there a couple times a year and hopefully that'll make you happy. And then I can live in Wyoming. You'll have your place in Florida. And I said, okay, we'll, we'll finally settle on that. She had never been to St. Augustine, Florida and never seen the house. I came here in February, made an offer on the house and it was accepted and we closed on it in March. It was our full intent to use this as a vacation rental. Tanya came out for the very first time and about four days later when Publix dropped off her groceries to her doorstep and she had seen how beautiful the neighborhood was here, saw that the house is exactly perfect. It was everything that she could ever wish for a house in Florida. And she said, you know what? You can sell the house in Wyoming. And I kind of did a, a double take. I'm like, are you kidding me? I've been trying to talk you into selling that house and leaving Wyoming for 10 years. She said, no, I think I'm ready. We decided we were gonna jump, so we jumped. And that was all made possible because we have done an extremely good job of hiring the right people. I'm not even gonna say it was my success. The only thing we did right, or that I can say I did right, was hiring the right people. It was the team of people that we put around us that allowed that to be possible. And my role in the company has changed over the last couple of years where I'm not in the office every day. I work a lot from my home and just went into the store a couple times a week. And the other two locations, three locations, run without me anyhow. So it was a pretty easy step for us to basically work remotely, which gives us an opportunity to turn that stuff over to the people that are working hard there and let them move up and grow their skill set. So when I decided to come to Florida, we had the big question is, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with the channel? And then it came to me. A lot of what I see on YouTube is people that tell you all about how successful they are and tell you how to get where they, where they are now, but they don't show you the entire process. And that's where we're going to change it. So that's where my plan started. I decided that we're gonna take a company from zero to $3 million, and my goal is to do it in two years. It's September 8th today, and we're just barely getting started. I don't think we'll put a, our first fence in the ground for probably another 30 days. However, ultimately my goal is, is by September 8th, 2023, to be at scale to where we're doing $3 million a year. Now, to put that in perspective, most companies take a long time and a lot of companies never even reach a million dollars. Very few businesses ever actually scale to a million dollars. So we're gonna try and go to $3 million. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because we put out a video with Josh Glover in Panama City a couple years ago and everybody says, you couldn't have done that. You had everything in your favor. You used the Mr. Fence brand from Indiana. You took all their equipment and you did all that stuff. So that's really not representative of starting a business from scratch. Here, we're gonna do the exact same thing and we're gonna bring you along. We are taking no inventory. We are taking no tools. I brought only the pickup that I have been using every day and a few tools that I have on that. And with that, we're gonna build a $3 million company from scratch. This is my wife and I as a team, and you'll see me on the camera. However, this is actually her company. I'm just going to run the management and the install side, and she's gonna run all the business side. But we're gonna bring you along for the ride on the successful contractor. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is show you the financials every week, how much money we spent, how much we made, how many jobs we sold, all of that detail every week as we close the video. Things that you'll see in the video are how to market yourself, how to grow a business, because I don't know this area. I don't know anybody in this area. I've never lived in Florida. I am 2,000 miles away from my comfort zone, and this is a huge change. I have zero connections here uh, outside of my fence industry friends. I don't have a lot of pool. I don't have a huge customer base. I don't know any of the general contractors here for commercial contracting. I don't know any of that stuff. But what I do have, the experience that I've gained over the years in marketing, so that hopefully that'll help me scale this business very quickly. The other thing I have is the human resource management. So you'll get to see how we manage our 
human resources and how we attract good talent because in today's day and age, the biggest problem we face as contractors is where do we find people? When everybody just wants to sit at a desk and make $100,000 a year, how do we attract people into the trades? You'll get to see how I finance equipment and inventory as I need to grow and scale that part of our business. So all of that's gonna be crucial and you'll get to see every step of the way as we bring you weekly updates showing you the progress that we've made and validating that through profit and loss statements. I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about this, nervous at the same time because I'm putting myself on notice. If this fails, this is a big black eye to me. One of the other things that we hear so often in the contracting business is I can't raise my prices because I wouldn't sell anything. So my goal on this channel is to go into projects profitably without gouging customers but making the money that I need to make without regard to what all of the other people around me are doing. We're going to sell ourselves, we're going to sell the quality of the product that we install and the service, the level of service that we deliver to our customers. And so you'll get to see how we do that. So all those people that say, I can't raise my price or I wouldn't sell a job, you're going to learn how to do that and how to do that successfully so that we can hopefully elevate the entire industry. This isn't a fence channel, this is a contractor channel. This is about contracting in general because it doesn't matter if I'm putting fences in or if I'm putting pools in people's backyards or if I'm laying their carpet or I'm landscaping their yards, all of it's the same. The business side is the same and that's where people fail. They can be really, really great at all the trades that they're doing and fail at business because they don't know how to run the business. And that's what you're gonna learn as we scale this thing from zero to $3 million in two years. That's the goal. Come along for the ride, it's gonna be wild.